Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given here a red cross and we would like to cut this red cross into five smaller pieces that can be reassembled into two identical smaller blue crosses as shown in this figure. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this puzzle. And if you know the answer to this puzzle, please write them down in our comment section. Now let's solve this problem together. In order to quantify how big the two identical smaller blue crosses that we want to form, let's compute for the area of this red cross. You can think of this red cross as composed of five identical smaller squares. And if the side of this square is s, that means the area of one of these squares is s squared. And since there are five of those squares, then the area of the big cross is represented as 5s squared. Now, if you want to create two identical crosses from this one big red cross, that means the area of each of those two identical crosses must be half the area of this big red cross. And we can achieve that if we are going to create another cross that is scaled down by a factor of 1 over square root of 2. And this is the cross that we want. The blue cross is a scaled down version of the red cross by 1 over square root of 2. So if the area of the big cross is 5s squared, then the area of the small blue cross must be 5 and we replace this s by 1 over square root of 2 times s, which is s over square root of 2, and we square. Simplifying, this gives us 5 times s squared is s squared, but square root of 2 squared is equal to 2. And clearly, 5s squared over 2 is 1 half of 5s squared. So the area of the small cross here now is just half the area of the big cross. So we are now sure that this blue cross has an area that is half the red cross. But the problem now is how are we going to cut this red cross into five smaller pieces that can be reassembled to create two identical smaller blue crosses. So what we are going to do is we are going to tilt the blue cross so that each of these corners are touching the edge. And we are now looking here at five pieces. Here is the first piece. Here is the second piece, the third, the fourth, and of course the fifth is this cross at the middle. The other part of the puzzle is to reassemble these five pieces. So let's reassemble now these five pieces into two identical smaller blue crosses. So let's begin with this bottom piece here. So we transfer that here. Next is let's move this second piece down here. And let's put this third piece here. And lastly, this fourth piece somewhere here. Notice that we now have here a cross. And since the area of this blue cross that's left is one half the total area of the red cross, then we know that these remaining parts must also be identical to this other blue cross. We now have these two identical smaller blue crosses, and we now have one, two, three, four, five pieces as required in the problem. And to check that these two really are identical, we can superimpose the two and we form identical crosses. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video.